In this video, we'll traverse through the scope of phones and smartphones and its fascinating evolution from its early beginning down to the present-day mobile devices. In 1876, the first-ever telephone was released. This innovative communication device was released by Alexander Graham Bell. Bell's invention enabled voice communication over long distances. This device revolutionized communication and gave it a new definition. In 1890, the candlestick phone was introduced. The device design became very popular in the early 20th century. It was equipped with a separate mouthpiece and earpiece. This feature made mobile communication device users love it. In 1946, the mobile telephone service, MTS, was released by AT&T. This invention was the first ever device that offered a service that allowed mobile phone calls. Its only downside was it used large and heavy equipment for this operation, but it was still a great choice as of its time also considering the fact that it was the only device that could carry out a mobile phone call operation, making it the only alternative. In 1963, the push-button telephone was introduced. This device replaced the rotary dial concept with a keypad feature, which made dialing faster, seamless, and more efficient. In 1973, the first handheld mobile phone was released. This innovation was released by Martin Cooper of Motorola. The device was called Motorola DynaTAC 8000X, which was also known as the Brick Phone. Fun fact about the phone was that it allowed for 30 minutes of talk time, which was wonderful during its time. In 1983, the Motorola DynaTAC 8000X was released commercially. After the invention of the Motorola DynaTAC 8000X in 1973, it was released commercially in 1983. This device was the first commercially available handheld mobile phone. However, it was very expensive and bulky. In 1984, the Nokia Mobira Talkman was released. This device was an early mobile phone that was known for its transportable design and extended battery life that was more advanced than its earlier models. In 1989, the Motorola MicroTAC was released. This device had a very creative architectural concept. It was the world's first ever flip phone. This feature made it significantly smaller and more portable than other phones that came before it. Also in 1989, the Nokia CityMan 900 was introduced. This device was one of the first portable mobile phones that became rapidly popular for its relatively compact size and powerful signal. In 1992, the Nokia 1011 was introduced. The Nokia 1011 was the first mass-produced GSM phone. This phone marked the beginning of a new era of modern mobile phone and mobile computing. In 1994, the IBM Simon Personal Communicator was launched. This device is often referred to as the first smartphone. It is a blend of a mobile phone with PDA features that includes a touchscreen. In 1996, the Motorola StarTac was launched. This mobile device was the first clamshell mobile phone. The device set a new standard for mobile phone aesthetics and design. Still in 1996, the Nokia 9000 communicator was introduced. This communicating device was one of the first phones that was equipped with a full QWERTY keyboard and a wide range of business applications. In 1997, the Siemens S10 was released. This phone was one of the first phones that was equipped with a color screen and provided four colors. The Siemens S10 set a new standard for mobile display technology. In 1999, the Nokia 3210 was released. The Nokia 3210 was specifically popular for its internal antenna and customizable covers. This feature made it one of the best-selling phones of its time. Still in 1999, the Nokia 7110 was launched. This was the first phone to be equipped with a WAP browser, which allowed users to access mobile-optimized web content. In 2000, the Ericsson R380 was released. This mobile phone was one of the first devices that was labeled as a smartphone. It was equipped with a touchscreen and PDA functionalities. Still in 2000, the Ericsson R520M was introduced. One notable feature about the Ericsson R520M was its integration of Bluetooth connectivity, which enabled wireless communication with other devices. In 2001, the Sony Ericsson T68 was released. This phone was among the first mobile devices to integrate a color display and also equip Bluetooth and MMS functionality. In 2002, the BlackBerry 5810 was introduced. This incredible mobile device was one of the first smartphones to integrate email functionality. 
This distinguishing feature made it a common choice among business owners. Still in 2002, the Danger Hiptop T-Mobile Sidekick was released. This device was notable for its swiveling screen and full QWERTY keyboard. This was an appealing functionality for younger users. In 2003, the Nokia 1100 was released. The Nokia 1100 was a basic and durable phone that became the best-selling mobile phone during its time. It recorded over 250 million units sold. Still in 2003, the Palm Treo 600 was released. This was a blend of mobile phone and a Palm OS PDA. It was equipped with a touchscreen and a QWERTY keyboard. In 2004, the Motorola Razr V3 was launched. The Motorola Razr V3 was prominently known for its slim structure and stylish aesthetics and design. It quickly became an icon of beauty. Still in 2004, the BlackBerry 7100 series was released. The aesthetics of this device was tailored to appeal to pleasure users and business users. It had an advanced phone-like design and improved email capabilities. In 2005, the Sony Ericsson W800 was introduced. This phone was one of the first Walkman phones with a blend of mobile phone and high-quality music player. In 2006, the LG Chocolate, LG KG800 was announced. This device was equipped with a sleek aesthetics with a touch-sensitive navigation button. This feature skyrocketed the LG Chocolate, LG KG800 in the mobile phone industry. In 2007, the Apple iPhone was introduced. The first ever iPhone built changed the narrative of the smartphone industry with its stunning touchscreen interface and lack of a physical keyboard. Still in 2007, the Nokia N95 was launched. This outrageous device was powerful and was equipped with a 5 megapixel camera, GPS, and improved multimedia functionalities. In 2008, the HTC Dream T Mobile G1 was released. This amazing device was the first smartphone to run Google's Android operating system. It was equipped with a sliding keyboard and touch interface. This fostered a seamless computing operation. In 2009, the Samsung Galaxy i7500 was launched. The Galaxy i7500 was Samsung's first ever Android smartphone. This revolutionized the Samsung Galaxy series and marked a new era for the Samsung series. In 2010, the Apple iPhone 4 was introduced. The iPhone 4 was equipped with a high-resolution retina display and a new stainless steel architectural design. It rapidly became incredibly popular among mobile phone users. In 2011, the Samsung Galaxy S2 was released. The Galaxy S2 was a high-end device that was prominently known for its powerful hardware and vibrant Super AMOLED Plus display. The integration of these features in the Galaxy S2 elevated Samsung's position in the smartphone industry. In 2012, the Nokia Lumia 920 was announced. The Lumia 920 was a powerful mobile computing device that was notable for its advanced camera technology and was one of the first smartphones to run Windows Phone 8. In 2013, the HTC One M7 was released. This groundbreaking device received acclaim for its premium aluminum design and boom sound stereo speakers. In 2014, the OnePlus One was released. This device provided high-end specs at a lower price point. It became a common choice for tech enthusiasts and mobile phone lovers. In 2015, the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge was launched. This amazing mobile phone was equipped with a unique curved screen. This feature improved the aesthetics and beautified the architecture of the device. It also elevated the Galaxy series in the smartphone market. In 2016, the Google Pixel was released. This was Google's first smartphone designed in-house. The device was prominently known for its top-notch camera and excellent Android experience. In 2017, the iPhone X was introduced. The iPhone X revolutionized the mobile phone design with an edge-to-edge -edge OLED display and Face ID facial recognition technology. In 2018, the Huawei P20 Pro was released. This device was equipped with an outrageous triple camera system. This made it a common choice among photographers, creatives, and content creators. In 2019, the Samsung Galaxy Fold was launched. The Galaxy Fold stormed the smartphone industry with an outrageous mobile phone architecture that had not been seen before. It was one of the first foldable smartphones that offered a tablet-sized screen that folded into a phone. In 2020, the iPhone 12 was introduced. This device introduced 5G connectivity. 
it revolutionized mobile architecture with a new flat edge design. It also featured an improved camera capability. In 2021, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 was launched. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 was an advanced version of the Galaxy Fold, with an improvement on its processor, also having a more durable design and support for the S Pen. In 2022, the Google Pixel 6 Pro was released. This device introduced Google's custom Tensor chip and provided enhanced AI capabilities and camera performance. Still in 2022, the iPhone 14 Pro was launched. It was equipped with a new Dynamic Island interface and advanced camera features. This device continued with Apple's tradition of innovation. In 2023, the Google Pixel 8 was released. This groundbreaking device featured a brighter super display, grippier matte glass design, pro camera features, and was also very reputable for its fast charging abilities. Still in 2023, the iPhone 15 was released. This astonishing device was equipped with a longer 5x zoom, best-in-class A17 Pro chip, super long battery life, stronger and lighter titanium casing. In 2024, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra was introduced. This groundbreaking device is equipped with high-quality camera technology and a refined design. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra set a new benchmark for smartphone technology. And there you have it. A fascinating journey through the evolution of phones and smartphones, from the early age to the date we published this video. Some of you may be watching this video on your smartphones. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, happy phones watching.